Hey everybody, this is another video. Hold on, I got a I got a glow coming on my forehead. I got a fix for that. Okay, that's better. So this is my newest video. I thought I'd uh, try putting myself on the video just to let some of you know that I'm a real person. And this will probably be the last time I show my mug on one of my videos though, so don't you worry thinking you'll have to see my face on future videos because I'm fairly certain that this will be the first and last time I do it this way but uh, never say never right um, let me shrink myself down here because that is too much of me okay this is going to be another video about our ancestry actually it'll be about DNA as it relates to our ancestry so for Christmas I received a present from Rachel and Meredith and Rachel is my son Tyler's wife, and Meredith is my son Bobby's wife. Technically, I guess this gift was from all four from, was from all four of them, but I'm sure Rachel and Meredith were the big drivers behind this cool Christmas present. So give credit where credit, credit is due, I guess. Uh, anyway, this gift was a DNA test kit from Ancestry DNA, and Ancestry DNA is affiliated with Ancestry.com, and of course Ancestry.com is where I build my family tree. Uh, so, uh, this kit basically consists of a vial here, and you just fill this vial up with saliva, and you mix it with this blue liquid here, shake it for 10 seconds or so, uh, put it in this little baggie, seal it up, put it in this box, it's already addressed and stamped, so you don't have to worry about that, and just uh, seal it up in this box and drop it in the mailbox, and that's how easy it is. And I sent it off a few weeks ago, and... Uh, I should information should be coming information should be coming back to me. The results should be coming back to me in a in a few weeks. So I'm kind of excited about that. And uh, there's a few reasons why uh, I'm getting I'm pretty excited about this whole DNA thing. First, just looking at the DNA results themselves, it'll be neat to see where my roots hail from. Will there be any surprises as to what regions of the world my DNA uh, shows me to be linked to? And secondly. It'll be interesting to see how well my ancestry tree that I've been building down here, how well that stacks up against the DNA test results. Will the DNA results support the family tree, or will it throw a wrench into the works and show me strongly tied to some other region of the world? And close this out. Let me pull this up. And here's the scratch pad that comes that counts the immigrant ancestors in my tree. Now this is just a partial list taken uh, because I haven't taken a lot of lines back to the point of immigration yet. But as you can see from what I have here so far, that it's heavily weighted to immigrants that have come from England. And this is the Smith side of the family here, and you see 52 immigrants uh, had come from England, uh, three from Netherlands, one from France, four from Wales. And then on my mom's side, the Ruth side, had seven from Germany, uh, 39 Again, heavily weighted to England and Wales too and Scotland too and here's the totals down here. And then again this is just a partial list. There's a lot of uh, names that I haven't traced back to the point of immigration yet uh, on our family tree. But uh, from this list, you know, the heavily weighted our immigrants are from England and were from England uh, according to this, this cheat sheet here. So there's a third thing that excites me about this DNA thing. And that's probably the most uh, the coolest thing, is that my DNA will now be in the ancestrydna.com database. And <laughs> you know, big bro big brother's watching you, right? Anyway, ancestry DNA is growing a huge database of DNA donors like me now. Uh, right now, there are about I think 10 million donors into the system, and those numbers continue to grow at a lightning fast pace. Uh, so. Now with my DNA in the system, I'll be able to access what they call a match list of distant relatives that share my same DNA. And with this matching of DNA cousins, it will help uh, me find and fill holes or verify relationships that are in our family tree. So I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, when my DNA results come back, I'm thinking it should show me our us uh, connected pretty strongly to Western Europe but having said that, almost all DNA samples uh, will have a mixture or percentage of other DNA in it. 
so our English DNA will have bits of Greco-Roman DNA, thanks to the English, uh, thanks to England being part of the Roman Empire uh, around 2,000 years ago, and that's the Roman Empire is this reddish area, and it went on, extended all the way down into the Mediterranean and around the Mediterranean. Um, you also see bits of DNA from other countries that invaded England, like uh, the Anglo-Saxons from the east and the Vikings from the north, uh, Norway and Sweden, and and the Normans from that area north of France. And the Normans were actually uh, Vikings who had settled northern France a long time prior. I think I will be strongly connected uh, to Western Europe. But as far as our character traits go, I know Mark and I had blonde hair as babies, and Rick's hair was a little darker, but we all ended up with real black hair. And now I have <laughs> now I have real light hair again, so I guess I've come full circle. There's still a lot of ancestry lines that haven't been taken back to the country of origin yet. So I wouldn't be surprised that things go south pretty quick. I say this because... We have uh, we have this photo of Rick, and uh, here's Mark, and here's me over here, and here's Rick down here. And after looking at this, as to just where our ancestors come from, all bets are off. <laughs> Sorry, Rick. Anyway, I'll see you in a few minutes, or I'll see you right after this, and I'll we'll go over my uh, DNA test results. Talk to you later. Hey everybody, guess what? Last night I got my I got an email from Ancestry DNA and I got my test results back. And I haven't looked at them yet. And uh, you know when I this whole DNA Ancestry DNA thing was pretty neat, I thought. Uh, but last night when I got the email, I started to get giddy. You know, like oh, I want to open it, I want to open it, but I had to wait till this morning. You know, I didn't want to open it late last night. So, uh, but I was, I, was, I was pretty giddy. It's almost like and now it's. It felt like Christmas uh, last night. I, I was so excited. I couldn't wait to, for morning to come. To, you know, I wanted to get up at 4 and 5 o'clock in the morning and open the email. But uh, here it is, uh, morning, and I'm ready to take a look at the email and uh, see what the DNA has to say. Um, I'm going to shrink me down. Let's see. Actually, uh, sorry about the beep. Actually, I think I'm going to get rid of me all together. That way it won't interfere when we open up the DNA test results. And uh, here they are right here. You can see I haven't opened them yet. And here we go. And, uh, you know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Western Europe and, and the British Isles is where most of my DNA will be. But uh, it would be cool if we had some other region in there, you know, American Indian. Who doesn't want that? So, anyway... Uh, here we go. The results are in. Explore DNA results. Oops, what's that? What's going on? Oh, that's an ad I think came up. Okay. Uh, discover your DNA, view all matches. Okay. Okay, 30% Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. And 28% British Isles. Or, you know, Great Britain, England. Let me... Pull that up. That's more iron in Scotland and Wales than I thought we were going to get. Thirty percent Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. Twenty-eight percent Great Britain. And twenty-one percent Europe West. So you add these up, you know, 79% from, from uh, the countries that you see circled here. And 9% Scandinavia. Oh my gosh, look how concentrated we are. So you're off the hook, Rick, you, with, your, uh, with your photo there, it looks like. You know, I thought we'd be, you know, I'm, I'm, I thought we'd be, uh, well, European West, I thought we'd be a lot of that. And that's the Ruth family, that's my mom's side of the family. So this is a German, a G Germania, that's where we get that from. It pretty evenly split between these three areas. Okay, let's look at the low confidence areas. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Okay, uh, Europe South. Europe South, uh, light blue, 7%. That's still a pretty good chunk. That'd be Italy and the Greece area. That's uh, South European. Then the Caucasus. Caucasus, okay, Eastern Mediterranean, Turkey, Iran, Iraq, that area. Okay, and then Iberian Peninsula, that, that's this... Uh, that's this area that's below France, uh, Portugal and Spain, peninsula there. And uh, minus 1%, less than 1%, uh, Middle East. So let's break down that. And these Caucasus is Iberian. I'm not sure. Maybe it shows up when Rome, when Rome had uh, all the Mediterranean. And because of Roman occupation, their DNA came up and mixed with Great Britain, Orum, Britannia. So maybe that's where that comes from. I don't know. Maybe not. Um, so that's it. And down here, let's see, these dates. Uh, not sure what these are all about. I would like to get back further than 1825, though. I mean, uh, I want to see 1600, you know, 1620 when the Pilgrims landed. 1630s, when they had the Great Migration from Europe into North America. And I want to see the 1700s because that's when we had a lot of Germans come over from my mom's side family. They settled Pennsylvania and Ohio and such. So i um, not sure what this is all about. These, these numbers here, I guess they correlate with the names over here somehow. Zoom in here. Oops. Okay, I guess these are people. Well, these are yeah, these are some people that are. I think these are people that are in my tree. And going back to 1825. Not going back any further. Cause that's a little bit disappointing. Boston. I don't know. There's uh, Lydia Cook from Plymouth. So that's right in the area of the, well, the Pilgrims. But she's, you know, she's from 1740, not 1620 to 1829. Many of these, da these dates here correlate to the lifetime of the person. In your family tree. So I want to go back further so I can see, you know, more of the pilgrims and uh, such. But, but she was a she was a descendant of uh, the cook near part of the pilgrims, so it just isn't taking us back any further so right now. So anyway, there's that. Now let's get out of here and uh, go into D DNA matches for a second, maybe. Okay, these are my uh, other people who have taken the DNA test that are in the Ancestry DNA system. Uh, and whenever you see something over here, like a, a certain number of people here, that means they started a tree or got that many people into their tree. Like this lady has 594 people on her tree. Uh, this lady has 361. Seems like I recognize this face. I don't know. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, this is how we're related. Uh, this is how we would be related to her. Um, this is my grandfather and her grandfather. So her grandfather and my grandfather are brothers. We share the same great-grandfather. And uh, we're not once removed or anything because we're on the same line of descendancy. Uh, so she's my second cousin. Uh, so that's pretty cool, and I think what I'll do, uh, she might be interested in the videos I made, YouTube videos, I made that one about ancestry, the Ruth family tree, I don't know if you remember that, but she might be interested in seeing that because, actually I mentioned her granddad in that video, so she would be interested in seeing that, I'm sure, and she might be interested in seeing uh, the World War One video that I did of uh, Grandpa. And actually, I mentioned him in that video, too. I don't know if I mentioned him 
I know I uh, I have text up identifying him in that video. I think this this picture here is even in that video. So so yeah, I'm gonna message her and let her know that she sh might want to be interested in seeing those two videos. And maybe she has some information that she can sh she can share with me. So that's really cool. Um, and then I'll go down here and I'll probably pick off the ones that have a lot of people in the tree and look at the information that they have. Well, this person has 2,000 people in her his tree, but it's locked. So because it's locked, I won't be able to view their tree. I don't know why people lock their tree. That's kind of dumb. But, you know, I can put in a request to him and, and see if he'll unlock it. But uh, so that's pretty cool. I'll, I'll be able to get into this uh, matching system. and. And do some work, uh, you know, if I don't get uh, burned out on the whole thing. But there you have it. Uh, there's my tree in a nutshell. Our tree, if you're, you know, for blood. Uh, and uh, we're concentrated here, so pretty cool. But I I'm still want to go back further in history. I don't know exactly. You know, I'm kind of confused about how all that works. I recognize Susan Chamberlain. She's like a great grandmother, a great great grandmother. She came from England, a Mormon pioneer ancestor. Uh, oh, these Robinsons, uh, they were hand cart pioneers. And I have a, I have a video I'm going to make on hand cart pioneers, a special uh, diorama I built. So that'll be coming up here in a couple weeks. I got the diorama basically done, and so I just have to do the. Uh, it's going to be kind of like my Mayflower ship that I did. I'm going to have a story, maybe, that I'll tell while you see photos of the uh, build of my little diorama there. So, anyway, that, any, that turned out pretty cool. So, I think you guys will be interested in that. Okay, that's it. Uh, see you all later. And uh, have a good day.